the rule now to tell you a little bit about lists. Lists under reach, related to authorization, related to restriction, and so on and so forth. <coughs> For all the lists, it's very necessary to know the reasoning behind that, to know the ways where, in which steps you can influence whether a substance comes onto a list or not. And I'll try to sum that up. We are talking about usually any kind of substance which is of concern for some regulatory risk management. Most of the lists, especially when it comes to REACH, it starts with some other lists. First, you have the Registry of Intentions for SVHC, for restrictions. I'm omitting the CLH, uh, the uh, CLP, uh, the Harmonized Classification and Labeling re uh, Registry of Intentions here, because I'm talking more about the REACH lists. The Community Rolling Action Plan and O3 are now summed up with additional elements for the packed list. Now these were the regulatory lists concerned or coming out of REACH. There are then some other lists. SIN list, the Global Automate motive dangerous substance lists. You have POPs, you have PICs, you have a lot of other lists coming from other legislation. The question is how do they fit together and what are the main drivers behind that? There are two main drivers seen by the Commission which are important. One is the dossier quality. And the other one is the way the regulatory risk management option works. It might be authorization, it might be restriction. And if we as industry do not get those two things right, I'm pretty sure within my professional career I will see reach two, three, four, and so on. This was endorsed and then published as the roadmap for SVHC identification and implementation of REACH risk management measures from now, 2013, to 2020. What were the elements there? The main steps. First, you had screening of all different substances. Screening also done by evaluation as a tool, of course, to screen. Then, the new element of risk management option <laughs> analysis was implemented there. Of course, with a strong link also to the hazard, the intrinsic property of the substance. And then, there should be a decision. Should it go the authorization pathway? Should it be restricted? Should some other regulatory options be picked? Or, there could also be the decision, everything's fine, with the way we handle the substance, just close the file. At the beginning, this packed list was more or less an advanced notice of substances on, on the radar for regulatory risk management op, um, based on the screening exercise for PBDs, for endocrine disruptors, at the beginning also for CMRs, and so on and so forth. Now this packed list, and we heard that yesterday, includes also substance evaluation. It also includes all the registry of intentions and the regulatory management option analysis. And you see a list where you have all those elements and you see from the very start whether for a certain substance on that list that management option or that process has been started or has been finalized. Just means that that substance is examined by a member state or by ECHA. It doesn't necessarily mean that the substance will be regulated. The candidate list all starts with 
The question is that substance and substance of very high concern in the REACH context. It starts with the Registry of Intention, followed by a public consultation, and a public consultation based on a dossier. The dossier either by member state or by ECA. And then there is a decision to include that substance in the candidate list, which has immediate effect on all the articles. And then a recommendation to include that substance for authorization into Annex 14 of REACH. There are, of course, some other lists of organizations, company internal lists, sector lists, with the aim to substitute certain substances. And with that, I come to the conclusion, or a short summary. They have often a different purpose, but the same goal, to ensure proper risk management of the substance concerned, and eventually substitute that substance by a safer alternative. And that's clearly the ultimate goal.